Established over 50 years ago as the first material science department in the world, the Department of Material Science and Engineering at Northwestern University's McCormick School of Engineering continues to lead the field and is ranked among the top programs in the country. The field is dynamic because understanding materials is the basis for all technology. The fundamental premise of material science is that the structure of matter leads to its properties. So if we can control structure at the atomic scale, then we should be able to engineer whatever property we want. Faculty members have been honored worldwide for their pioneering research, which spans the entire spectrum of materials research. This video will highlight only a few of the department's faculty and current research projects. David Dunand is an expert in metals. He is working on the development of strong, lightweight, energy-absorbing metal foams. We're now making um, aluminum foams. This is an example of an aluminum foam. It's extremely light. It's actually, it would probably almost, well, it would certainly float on water in that particular case. And just like a styrofoam now, if you squish it, it absorbs a lot of energy. So you can think of using this, for instance, for very lightweight bumpers for cars. The combination of strength, lightness, and absorption power could soon result in cars that are safer and more energy efficient. Other faculty student research teams in the department are developing materials for use by the Navy. We're using fundamental data on titanium alloys to develop new um, high strength, high toughness alloys for applications such as lightweight, high speed watercraft. Still other research teams are striving to develop more energy efficient aircraft. I'm working on the nickel based super alloys, which is the improvised alloys for the turbine engines. The goal is higher heat treatment temperatures and lower operating costs. In its groundbreaking research, the department collaborates with national laboratories, especially nearby Argonne National Laboratory, where faculty member Mike Bedzik heads the synchrotron center at the Advanced Photon Source, one of the most powerful synchrotrons in the world. So we're going to do one that is a 3300, and then the rest will be the, 20, uh, the 2000 molecular weight. Yeah. Ramil Shah's research spans the emerging areas of nanomaterials, self-assembly, and biomaterials. Her group focuses on developing novel biomaterials for use in regenerating damaged tissue or bone. Trying to create therapies, whether it be through cell implant, uh, injecting cells, whether it be through injecting or implanting materials, but really uh, developing therapies that can uh, sort of jumpstart the regenerative process in your own body. The aim is to reduce the need for invasive surgery, eliminate the need for placing metal parts in the body, alleviate suffering, and promote quicker healing. The end goal is to really make an impact on patient quality of life. Doing this type of research, uh, developing materials for uh, an end a clinical application is very motivating. We would proceed to vent the load lock uh, via this nitrogen line here. Mark Hersom wants to increase the power of integrated computer circuits by reducing electronics to the atomic scale. Hersom and his research team have developed individual electronic devices that are a single nanometer in size. If you change the diameter of a carbon nanotube at the atomic scale, you can change its properties dramatically, both electrical and optical properties, which enable new technologies. One of Hersom's undergraduate students, Chris Chen, is helping to develop transparent electronic controls on the nanometer scale. I've been working primarily on a class of materials known as transparent conducting oxides to pattern um, conductive wires, thus making um, transparent interconnects that could be used in uh, electronics of the future. The undergraduate program gives students the fundamental tools to apply mathematics and science to a wide array of materials engineering problems. They also have the opportunity to become part of exciting research teams. The project I'm working on is actually uh, for making sure that when you put a stent inside of your artery after you have surgery, that the um, stent doesn't like rip apart your tissue. We put in a molecule that we designed, and that bioactive molecule will help the cells regenerate. Ramil Shah values one quality in her students above all others. It's enthusiasm. Enthusiasm for, for research, for learning, for asking questions. The graduate program integrates core courses, specialized courses selected with an advisor, and cutting-edge research. MS and PhD candidates participate in research groups, presentations at national and international meetings, and submission of papers for publication. One can focus on a single problem 
And at the end, I tell them, when they graduate, they are actually the world specialist in that particular topic. As they pursue their interests under the guidance of world-renowned faculty, undergraduate and graduate students alike develop a broad global and societal perspective. If you have a broad understanding of materials, you're in a position to impact a variety of fields, a diversified set of expertise, which puts you in a very powerful position when you graduate. I feel like there's no boundaries to what you can do and where you can go with your study in the field. Thank you.